Welcome back everybody. It's a new video. Mr. Gabriel back in action like I never left. Anyways, in today's video, we are in Ludwitz here to celebrate a very, very special event. We will be opening the new Nast Ludwitz campus. And in this video, join me as I'll be here for my short stay to celebrate this event, take you through everything and take you through the road trip on how I got here. And as you keep on watching, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe as my video channel or my YouTube channel is back in action. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, the video is starting then. You must get ready. Where are your snacks? Ah, me and my snacks are ready. Woo! Nice, 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 nice. Enjoy. Usually, I prepare to get my oil and water checked out and we're gonna find out how much are we going to pay for a full tank of petrol and for today's price we're looking at $21.43 what's that you want to say hi to the camera uh, <laughs> how are you today I'm fine you're fine yeah nice 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 oh yeah this is a shell service station it's right on your way to country club um, quite close to the airport um, it's on the route that takes you to Grove Mall as well as the route that takes you to Rio Bar. so once we're done with the car we'll just head inside we'll head inside and then get something to drink for the road all right here we go let's find out our bill Our bill is 954. So that's not really the full capacity of my tank because it already had petrol in it. So <clears throat> gotta move my suit. The other part goes over there. This is Nadia's stuff, by the way. There she is. Hey, Nadia. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, so with that being said, let's see, oil service is due and we have a full tank of petrol. So let's see how far this takes us and I'll keep you guys, or let's say, we will keep you guys posted. <laughs> Alright, so we've taken a break. We are now in Mariento. <sighs> Let me see, how do I zoom? Okay, I can't really zoom. I'm, actually, I'm shooting from a GoPro. And this is an update. An update of Wagwan. I don't have much to say. I'd rather just stretch my legs breathe a little bit you know so i'm gonna show you around so you see how it looks Ebo, yeah, i'm all right no 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 all is well yeah i believe this is probably a spot for hiking but yeah this is what you can expect
that guys so we've now arrived in ours and i was running low on petrol so now we put in another tank and we're looking at a thousand hundred and eight thanks to my brother here who's helping us what's your name man galas the galas yes. Oh, yeah. so yes guys this is the beautiful town of ours if you are running low on petrol on your way to ludritz you can make a stop over here and you should be helped so yes my people my eyes look so drainy because it's because of the road it's very very and my forehead is dark iphone uses what what yeah so i'm about to arrive in ludritz and once we get there we're gonna have a whole excursion staying at wild horses this is that my gopro has died let me show you gopro has died it's been doing the most throughout this trip but yeah anyways um if you want to know how much fuel i have left we still have still have a full tank that's good and now we have a hundred a thousand and a hundred kilos left but yeah um, we've traveled 805 man we have traveled 855 kilometers today spent eight hours on the road and we have 490 kilometers of fuel left so our consumption per hour or let me say <laughs> our average consumption is 14 kilometers per liter and this this that is basically what's going to tell you when you're driving that's why it's empty and you have your warning speed and that's about it all right let me give you a tour i shall give you a tour of how my place looks like so this place is called wild horses it's like a little cute place and it's really cozy we've got two rooms over there now I'm going to take you to where we eat breakfast. We're almost at the end of day two. I'm dressed fabulously because of the gala dinner. It's about to happen shortly. Mm, it's six o'clock now. We finished with the public lecture. And I think I am getting a little bit sick. Yeah, my voice is a bit scratchy. My throat is a bit scratchy, so I have some med lemon cooling down a little bit. <coughs> but yeah, so we're gonna have a gala dinner. It's the purpose of the gala dinner is more so like you know as a fundraising campaign. Yeah, it's gonna be six till till eight o'clock or so. But I'll try to keep the content consistent because at the same time while I'm vlogging, I also have to take pictures, make sure I capture the event, you know what I'm saying? 
<coughs> yeah. So I have to go. Look good. Just like my pictures, you know. <laughs>
Don't worry, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. Okay. So you're saying you travel around you're traveling around the whole world in your land cruisers and please tell us how did you get to this point? Yeah, we well from when we were really young we had a dream and what we wanted to do was travel around the world before we too old. Lots of people wait till they retire and then it doesn't work out so well. So we said while we're still working, I'd like to travel around the world. So we sold our house in South Africa, sold everything, um, gave some stuff away and then we rigged up this rig which is the land cruiser we put the rooftop tent on we got the suspension raised we did all sorts of things to the car and now this is my new home and we are driving from we actually left from Cape Town and we're going to go all the way up through Africa zigzag zigzag areas where it's safe um, all the way up to Egypt uh, going to cross over the Suez Canal into Europe and then we're going to go all the way around Europe and then over into Canada and zigzag North America and South America and then back so yeah and in but with the cruiser yeah we'll put it on a ship wow. and then yeah get it to the different countries that is so cool yeah and we're still working though. We're still working like do you work remotely or yeah so we um, got two starlings on the roof I don't know that, if you can see them two starlings yeah there's white Panels. Ah, all right. So that enables us to work um, in most places in the world. Oh, remotely, um, okay. Yeah, remotely. So uh, Dave is a marine surveyor, and I work with him. So we can work from anywhere in the world, which is which is great. But we had to plan our lives around that yeah. to make sure that we able to work from anywhere, and then that's mm -hmm. how you can travel. Wow, yeah. awesome! Can awesome. I tell you something cool? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> so look at our name. So must be mad. It's a little bit dirty from the Namibian dust, but I know, no worries. I can, I can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. So the M is for Magda, uh -huh. which is myself, and yes. the D is for Dave. So it must be Magda and Dave. Ah, oh, it must ah. be Magda and Dave. Wow, <laughs> that's so cool. cool. <laughs> Okay guys, so it turns out I actually became sick so I'm heading back to Vindu today but I have the opportunity to take a picture take a few pictures around campus um, so take this as the outro of the video I hope you really enjoyed it do leave a like, a comment and subscribe and as I end this off I'll just play for you b-rolls or background shots of um, the campus and my trip back to Windhoek. Other than that, have a good one, guys, and to more content on my channel.
Okay, so we've now arrived in Ketmansua. It's hot as usual. We adding extra petrol now. Uh, I've added 500 more to the trip. Petrol price is $21.60 per liter of petrol. And I don't have much to say, but this is how it looks. Hello.